Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson number 8 today and it's Bedmass 2 which is the second installment of three Bedmass lessons. You can see we've added a top and a bottom, um, a numerator and a denominator to these problems and it just raises the complexi complexity a little bit. Uh, the key here is that you're going to do the numerator and the denominator separately. Uh, that is what you do first. You do the numerator and the denominator completely separately. You don't mix them. And then at the end, you're going to be left with a fraction, and that's what you're going to reduce. Uh, this will make sense as we go forward. Let's jump right in. We have our first problem. 5 times 5 plus 3 in brackets divided by 8 plus 3. And then 2 times 10 divided by 3. 4 minus 3. So we are going to treat the top and the bottom completely separately and just go step by step with each one. The first step in this in this part is to do the brackets. So 5 multiplied by 5 plus 3 is 8 divided by 8 plus 3 and let's just do the, the steps that we need to on the bottom. So it's separate. So there's no brackets so let's just multiply and divide from left to right. 2 times 10 is 20 and then 20 divided by 4 is 5. So that leaves us with 5 minus 3 on the bottom. Let's continue where we do the top and the bottom separately. Uh, multiplication and division um, from left to right. So 5 times 8 divided by 8. Well, that will just leave us with 5 because multiplying and dividing are opposite. If we multiply 8 and divide 8, it just leaves us with 5. 5 plus 3 on top. And then 5 minus 3, so that's actually just 2 on the bottom. We have one more step. 5 plus 3 is 8. We're left with a fraction of 8 over 2. And we're going to reduce this or we'll turn this into an integer. So that would be an integer of 4. Again, we come up with an answer. We may be left with a fraction sometimes, and that is all right. Let's go to the next one. We'll see if I can fit it here. I'm going to change colors just for fun. Let's do. 4 multiplied by 6 minus 4 plus 10 divided by 2 all over 8 times 7 plus 15 times 6 minus 4. Okay, again we treat the top and the bottom completely separately and that's our first thing we need to do. So I see no brackets in the top. I just see things multiplied and divided by each other so I can do them each because they're separate. So 4 times 6 is 24 and minus four stays as it is. And then we have 10 divided by two, which is five. On the bottom, again, we have no brackets with things inside the brackets to do. We just have brackets that represent multiplying. So eight times seven is 56. And 15 times six is 90. We're gonna subtract four from that at the end. Let's go here. 24 minus 4 is 20 plus 5 is 25. And let's see here. 56 plus 90, well that would be 146 minus 4 is 142. That seems right to me. If you disagree, stop me in class. But I will say that this is the answer for this one. It is non-reducible as far as I can tell. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next ones then. Well, the next ones are easier for you. All right, we've got 8 times 9 over 42 divided by 7. We're going to treat the top and the bottom completely separately. 8 times 9 is 72. And 42 divided by 7 is 6. So then we can reduce. Let's divide both of these by 2. I know I can. So that is then 36 over 3. I can then divide both of these by 3. So that would be 12 over 1. That's just 12. 12 over 1 is just 12. So by simplifying the fraction, I found out the um, actual value that we should get. OK, let's do the next one. 4 plus 4. 5 times 4 over 8 minus 3 times 2. All right, so multiplication first. So that's 4 plus 5 times 4 is 20. 
And then multiplication first on the bottom, eight minus three times two is six. That is 24 over two, which again is 12. I think that that's weird. All right, answer is again 12. Ooh. Okay, that's, that's all of it. So we're, do the numerator, do the denominator separately, and then go ahead and uh, reduce the fraction as much as you can to hopefully find an integer. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you soon.